Hey guys, how you doing tonight? Um, it's two in the morning. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm just been kind of watching YouTube and whatever. I have a class later on tomorrow, so I don't need to get any sleep anytime soon, I guess. But um, I was thinking about a time where I was metal detecting, and mind you, I live in the middle of nowhere. And I often go to house sites that are still standing that like people could probably live in like squatters and stuff like that so I went to this house and it was big I had like a bunch of structures it was like concrete and I was hunting it for like an hour just nobody was even around it's like a quarter mile away from like a paved road on a dirt road that you just kind of go up and it hasn't been used in a long time but um so I was metal detecting for about an hour or so, and this guy walks up. He kind of walks up, and I'm like, who the hell is this guy? Like, I don't care if people come up and talk to me, but I'm far away from people. I have no idea who this guy is, and he seems kind of sketchy to me. So I'm kind of on edge a little bit. And so he's kind of a short guy. I think he's, like, Filipino or something. He's a little bit older, in his 50s or so. But he walks up to me. He's like, hey, are you all right? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. He's like, do you live here? I was like, no. Do you live here? I was kind of like, I don't know why I asked that, but I just did. Because maybe he lived there or something. He's like, no. You know, I just saw you across the canyon where I live. You know, you see that house right there? I'm like, yeah. He's like, that's where I live. I live down there. I'm like, okay. And he just kept talking to me about random shit. Just, and I was kind of getting concerned a little bit about what this guy's doing. And she just kept asking, like, how old I was and blah, blah, blah. And he started asking me, he's like, so you have a cell phone? I'm like, yeah. He's like, let me see it. I'm like, all right. So I pull it out. It's an iPhone. And he's like, oh, i never seen one of those before. What is that? And I'm like, it's an iPhone. And he's like, oh, okay. Well, that's cool. And he just kept asking me a bunch of stuff. And then this is when it really got sketch. Is he, like, had a backpack on. And then, so he was just sitting there, and he's like, hey, you know, uh, I'm going to go b around back. Because, like, this huge, like, area, a bunch of trash and stuff behind these houses. I'm going to go around back and recycle, take some cans and recycle them. He's like, can you come help me? Can you, come on, come help, come help me. And he kept telling me to come help him. I was like, no, 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 I'm good. I'm good. I I'm going to leave here in a minute anyways. So he's like, no, come on. Don't do that. Don't. Come on, come out with me behind the house. And I'm just like, holy crap, dude, this guy is sketchy. And and then finally I kept telling him, no, 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 I'm going to leave. And then he kind of got upset, and he's like, okay, all right. And then he reaches into his pocket, and I'm like, holy shit. And I had my shovel, so I was ready to swing that thing right at his head if he, if he like, pulled something out. But he was reaching into his pocket, and he's like, okay. He pulls out a pack of smokes, and he's like, you want one? I'm like, no, no, I don't smoke. And he's like, oh, why? You're young. Don't you smoke? I'm like, no. And he's like, well, why are you leaving? I'm like, because I'm tired. And he's like, you're young. You don't, you're not tired. I'm like, yeah, I am tired. And he's like, oh, come on. And then, like, he takes his backpack off and opens that up and starts reaching into there. And I'm like, holy crap, what's he doing now? And then I, I forgot what he pulled out of his backpack, but... I'm like, holy crap, dude. Like, I'm in the middle of nowhere with this guy. I have no idea who he is. And so, and then, like, he kind of just, like, stood there and just stared at me awkwardly for, like, three or four seconds. Like, ten seconds, it seemed like. He was just sitting there, like, looking at me as he was, like, just reaching into his backpack. Uh, I'm, like, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I'm shaking. Like, I had adrenaline going. I'm like, I'm going to fight this guy if he touches me. Like, I have no idea what his plans are and... I, I don't know, so I, I got my car, I just, I left, but he, like, stared at me the whole time I left, like, he, something was going on, I don't know what he was gonna do with me, if I went back there with him, if he, like, wanted me to shoot some heroin with him, or, I don't know what the hell he was gonna do, I don't know if he had some kind of psychological issues, but, then, man, I, I don't know, but what's funny is, it's not really that funny, but, um, I'm going to say like six months after that, I went to the local market down the street a little ways. I was with my girlfriend. Actually, it was my, yeah, it was my girlfriend. And 
that same guy walks into the store and I'm in the produce section. It's kind of like sitting there, my own business. I look up and I'm like, oh my God, it's the same dude. And he comes in and walks in the store and he kind of like stumbles and like looks at me and he kind of like stares at me while he walks by. And I'm like, holy crap, I'm dipping out. So I left and then I've just, I've seen him a couple times in Acton where I live. And I'm just like, who the hell is this guy? Like he's always walking with a backpack, the same backpack he had. So maybe he's homeless, but I don't know. But the point of this video is um, I want to hear from you guys what your most bizarre cases are of when you maldetect. Have you ran into somebody or what's happened to you while you're out detecting? You know, a lot of guys are out there in the city hunting the parks and stuff, so really nothing goes on. But I go out, I go out in the middle of nowhere, so I'm kind of, I, I, I wish I can have like a concealed carry, like, that's like my one of my life goals is to be able to defend myself, um, but in California it's really strict here. You can it's like almost impossible to get a concealed carry permit. You have to be like an ex-military or an ex-cop or something like that. I'm kind of shivering. I'm outside, but um, yeah. So I ever since then I've always like said like you know what like if that was to turn out bad like there was no way for me to defend myself. I didn't have a knife. I didn't have a weapon. And it's not fair to me because I had no, like, no contact with anybody and nobody really knew where I was and all that stuff. So it really wasn't fair to me if this guy was a wacko and killed me, you know, or tried to at least. I would, I would fight to the death. But, uh, so yeah, you know, tell me what you guys think and tell me about your guys' stories. That still haunts me to this day. I bring a knife with me now whenever I go hunting, but... Even a knife is kind of sketchy because, I mean, if you were to fight someone with a knife, like, you'd be, like, close quarters, at least with a pistol. If you exercise your right with a concealed carry and you do it correctly, which a lot of guys don't. But if your life is in jeopardy and you feel that way and you pull your gun out and aim at him and say, back up, they will back up. They, a firearm is a firearm. They know better unless they're totally tweaked out or something. But most of the time, firearms denutralize like situations. It happens all the time. People th have a bad perspective on guns, that they kill people and stuff like that. But yeah, it's always in the wrong hands. But if you use the gun for good and you exercise your right correctly and you carry correctly and how you're supposed to, every time you, people get in road rage and they pull their gun out like, oh, I'm gonna kill you. Like, no, that's not what you're supposed to do with your concealed carry. You're supposed to do it if somebody is trying to kill you and you pull it out and you tell them, I have a I'm, I carry and I will use my force against you if you use your force against me. And only then, if he retaliates, then you're able to shoot them. And if that happens, you should probably shoot them in the leg, not in the face, not in the chest. You're supposed to neutralize the situation, not kill them. So I wish I can carry, but I mean... There's some states that's open carry, like Arizona and all that stuff. And then we have California that's just completely nuts about it. So, so anyway, that's my rant for tonight. Tell me, guys, how you, um, how you take on this. And tell me about your crazy stories, if you have any. And uh, have a good night. I'll talk to you guys later. See you later.